Hi guys and welcome to the Android Tutorial YouTube channel. Today we're gonna review how to set up timers in the WeLink app. So if you got a Sonos device, you're able to use timers. So I'll give you some examples. So for example, every time at night I have a fan, which I normally use to cool down the room. And uh, for me, it's not necessary to be um, cooled the entire night. Um, just during the time I am going to go to bed. So, for example, this is the bedroom fan. As you can see, I already have a little um, toggle bubble with a one here. So, this is the timer option. As you can see, I already have a timer here which I can um, er erase. If I want to set a new timer, I just come here where it says new timer and I'll set the date. Um, so, for example, first of all, I have to see if I have it to turn it on or turn it off. So, for example, obviously, I'm going to have the fan on and I want it to go off. So, for example, in this time, I'm going to place off and then after one hour or as, as long as you want. So, here you'll see that I'll drag it to and move it over. So, in one hour, I am going to turn it off. There you go, and it starts. Starts, supposedly. Um, if you want to disable it, you just toggle the way I just did. And if you want to enable it once again, you just toggle it again. Um, if you want to delete it, because, for example, I have a duplicate here. I just come here and delete it. So, it's quite handy. Um, you might do some other stuff, for example, a TV. Um, you might have, I don't know, a timer for a, f a fan, as I told you before, for a lamp, if you want to have it turn on in a specific time. Um, nonetheless, I would say it would be best to use the schedules. And... Uh, well, that would be basically it. I just wanted to show you guys how the timers for the Sonoff works. So if you got any questions, please let me know. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and let me know if you have any questions. See ya.